Jacob Wilson with a second home run. Jacob Wilson, Jacob Wilson. It's gone. Jacob's got a special skill set. I mean, I think we kind of identified that pretty early on in the recruiting process that everything he did was a little bit different. The way he feels the ground ball, the accuracy on his throw, simple things like that where you'd be hitting him ground balls in a, a showcase and it's like, man, you can't hit a bad ground ball when you're hitting it to Jacob because he always makes it look good. Oh, he just loved baseball. You know, he, he loved going to the field every day. You would watch There'd be like replays of the game on like Sports Center, and there'd be you know Jacob sitting in the seat, and he's just dialed in at such a young age. So it was just fun to watch him fall in love with the game. I remember the day when the first time I could throw him a ball and he could catch it in the, in the air. I remember the exact day it happened because we like ran around like kids, like we were so excited that he caught it. You know, so it was from the get-go you could kind of tell that he had like really good hand-eye coordination, and then put that on top with how much he loved just always having a bat and a ball around. That kind of you could you can just see it just slowly but surely just getting better and better and better. And now he's playing catch, so it, it was fun to see the progression. The main thing that really stuck out to me that when I was kind of looking at colleges and high school was that I really wanted to find a you know, place that really put God first and kind of continue my relationship, you know, growing with Jesus. Me and my dad's thing was always Dave and Buster's, and that was just something that we've always really bonded with. We had this huge talk at a Dave and Buster's, which was like the weirdest place you can have a talk at. He would just w really wanted me to go here, and he thought it was a perfect fit. So once we finished, you know, talking about you know colleges and how he wanted me to go to GCU, we uh, we went to go play video games because that's what Dave and Buster's is all about. And uh, we would always, I guess, save up tickets to get this hidden treasures baseball, which is a box. It could be an autographed baseball from a high draft pick all the way up to a Hall of Famer, and you'd have no idea who it is. It's just some random baseball player. We did that throughout my whole entire career. Every place, every city we went to, we would get a hidden treasure ball from the Dave & Buster's if they had it in that city. So we've probably been to Dave & Buster's and done this probably at least 30 times. And then you just pick whatever you want and the person would unlock the, unlock the uh, little glass door and pull it out. Um, when we went this time, we waited. We told the manager we wanted to get a hidden treasure. We waited there and they never came. So we were like, what's going on? So we went back to the desk and say, hey, we're waiting for person to get a hidden treasure and they said no no we went back and got one already and they put it on the counter which had never happened before and uh, so we kind of looked at each other like this is different we opened that one it was Tim Salmon I mean you just gotta follow what God's telling you right now chief the odds of you getting that signature after your first D1 offer just maybe 10 or 11 days earlier after all the balls we've gotten, after every any ball that you could possibly get out of that entire program or company that they do. We took it as a sign from God, and ever since then it was always, I committed to GCU and I've never regretted it. What I always cared about is who he is as a person and who he is as a teammate. And over this course of the 12 months, I probably prouder than I ever been simply because of the way that he's handling the attention that he's getting. I never really saw it as a possible job in the future for me. It was just something that I always loved going out there and doing, just being able to compete on, the, on a baseball field. That's always just been something that I've really just loved. It's something that I've always dreamed of, being able to be seen as you know one of these top picks that these companies are you know having me at. Uh, I love kind of looking at all, every single one of them just to see what I need to improve and you know, kind of help my game and help my team win. So I'm just really, really focused on just playing this last year of you know college baseball.